Now, how often do you, do you usually go to the Bronx whenever you're along your travels here? Well, Or um, visit a friend in the Bronx? No. No? Well, not the Bronx me don't have nothing for me. Right, well, there was a study that, uh, well, there was a study that, or a survey that was recorded back in 2016, and the Bronx was named New York City's most unfriendliest borough. A survey of mm. New York's five boroughs has uncovered opinions about what neighbors complain about the most and which borough has the friendliest residents. In a recent survey conducted by a real estate search engine website, homes.com, yeah. Oh, yeah, Manhattan <laughs> was deemed to be the friendliest borough with 27% of respondents calling it friendly. Friendly? Yeah, while the Bronx was the least agreeable with only 7% of respondents calling it friendly. Like, what do you think? Do I think the Bronx is as friendly? Like, do you, do you have like I a mean, different view what? on this? Um, Can I be honest? Mm -hmm. Okay, wait, do you want the truth or you want the days your truth? I want the entire truth and nothing but the truth, but don't I don't want to shame you at all, okay? This hey. keep in mind that this well, finger is a caterpillar, okay? No, that's a regular ass finger. No. We're gonna close that up. <laughs> all right. Don't break what it. What I think of um the Bronx, it depends on what part of the Bronx you're in. Cause you know, the Bronx is huge. Right. But I don't know, me personally, I just don't go to the Bronx. At, like it's rare mm -hmm. you'll catch me in the Bronx because I don't have nothing, it's nothing for me out there. There's no opportunity out there for me. Unless so, if, unless if you're just going there just to explore, like maybe the Bronx Zoo is an example. I've been to the Bronx Zoo, amazing. Mm -hmm. Or if you have like an appointment up there or like um, a job interview somewhere in the Bronx, if you're just applying there for something, like, like how I usually go up to the Bronx for whatever reason I have to do, even with, um, if it's uh, like an appointment or something. But I've, I've been really at the Bronx sometimes, but or I could go to the, to the Bronx for the Bay Plaza Mall. Bay even Plaza though, Mall, even yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you, that's only, that's, I go, my cousin lives out there uh -huh. in um, Bay Chester, right? Yeah. And he writes me all the time like, hey, come over. And you know, that's what I do, you know, we take a drive down there, I go see my cousin. We we just have an amazing time to go out there. That's probably the only part of the Bronx I really go to, mm -hmm. um, Bay Chester, right next to the mall near the co-op buildings. Um, and it's amazing, bro. The area is nice. It really is. Mm -hmm. Have you been on that side of the Bronx before? The Bay, Bay Plaza? Yeah. I've heard of Bay Plaza, but I never go, went there. I would, I, it'd be interesting to go to s check out Bay Plaza and see what they have to offer and what stores are available. I know Wait, here about are, the what AMC What are your theater. favorite stores? JC put... Penney is one of them. Because mm -hmm. they have all my styles that I'm looking for. Like, um... Let me show you here. Like yeah, let this, me see this. This style here. Um, if you get a good shot on one of the cameras, nah, but here. you gotta get a shot of me too, man. Yeah. Well, take a look. It's, does this look like it's from J.C. Penney here? Nah, this is a mixture of H and M. Does this look like J.C. Penney here? No, guys, this is a mixture of H and M and a little bit of H and M with a little dab of Zara in it, man. Shout out to those brands. You mean, I'm not shopping on JC Penney's, man. Yeah. Shop at those big stores. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, okay. Oh, you think you look at Frey? My boy fly to death. Wait, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Wait, wait, let's, talk, let's look at his shoe game. Shoe game on. Oh. My man's dead in the game, you know what I'm saying? Look at his shoe game, he looking on point. Wait, take off the scarf, man, relax. Why, wait. it's cold in here. Yeah, but your neck is not cold. <laughs> well, well, I don't want to cover up the neck because I have my mic on. Remember? Oh boy! If I put, if I do this, and it could be a steady. Oh la la la! Ugh! Oh, wait, wait, he signed it up. You know what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you don't need that, man. Yeah, I don't need that at all. But it's like, I hey, feel you know, comfortable. Why, tell me why. Like, okay, so what do you do like on a day shop? Like, what are some places you like to go to? Well, one of the places, as I mentioned, was JC Penny. As I was showing you, this is the style that they have that I'm wear that I'm wearing. They have my style here. What's your style? How would you describe your style? My style is more of like um, antique, um, sexy type, um, stylish. Classy, handsome, 
that format, basically. Yeah. You know, the smooth, cool, and talented young boy, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I wonder if I could just do this, how Mary Tyra Moore flips her hat and she just uh, catches it, goes oh, like let's this. Let's see, let's try, let's try. See? Oh, Lord, you was about to lean back. <laughs> I, want, I wanted to catch that, but oh, I missed man. it. Here, can I try? Let me try on my Try side. that. So let's see how well you do it. So here. Let me flip it. So you flip like this? Yeah, you flip it. No, Let me you, try it like this. You take your hat. You, you, the, the way Mary Tyra Moore, mm. she, does, she flips her off and lets it go in the, into the air. Yes. Okay. So just be very careful. I have lice. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, no. let me take that out. <laughs> Man, we don't want that, but let's back to the conversation. I'm just, ki I'm just kidding. My hat, my hat has a fresh scent of gain here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, but back to what we was talking about. Mm -hmm. Like, some of my favorite stores, it, it doesn't matter. Um, I go everywhere. It doesn't matter if I'm going to Soho, if I'm going to Midtown, if I'm going to Bay Plaza. It doesn't matter. My favorite stores are H&M, Old Navy, Zara. Um, a little bit of... Macy's? A little bit of Supreme. Macy's? I shop at Macy's because Macy's have a combination of different brands, mm -hmm. right? So, you know, I'll go into Macy's. I may see something like, oh, okay, I like this. Remember, they have the Sean John, the Rockaware. They have all kinds of brands, man. You know, we should yes. definitely go shopping one day. Yeah, we'll take our field camera with us, and then we'll, we'll show you. Do a little vlog. Yeah, we'll, a day in the life yeah, we'll do of a, David like a little, DJ. Yeah, we'll do like a little vlog of that, of David and DJ. Mm -hmm. And we could also give like advice of the best clothes and find like a shop paying sales expert or a stylist expert on the best deals that will make and we'll the start telling more. people what you know speaking of i'm happy we're on this topic david because mm -hmm. um a lot of parents nowadays don't know what to buy their kids one could be they can't afford it mm. two could be they don't know what's really hot and what's trending out here in this fashion world so right what advice could we give to those to those young guys who are like 13, 14 years old, what advice can we give to them? Mm -hmm. um, the, I think the advice we could give to them is... When it comes to buying clothes, yeah. When it comes to buying clothes, don't buy like something that will make it so wrinkly or net or like so wrinkly because then people are going to come up to you and I've seen this happen. They're going to come up to you and start judging you because you're wearing this mm -hmm. and that. And you, you, can't, you can't do that. Yeah, you should not care what anyone says. Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. You should not care what anyone say. Be you. Yes. Who cares about the next person? Exactly. Can just, just, if you, just dress the way. Let's do it together because we was just about to let's slice it up. Oh, wait. Ah, yeah. What the hell was that? I meant <laughs> this, man, oh. like this. Oh, what the hell was that? Hey, let's come on. I thought you wanted to do a karate chop. Oh, That's... hell no, man. Not with you. <laughs> come on, but seriously, though, man, on a serious note, yes. um, I feel like you can wear anything you want. You can still be, quote unquote, fly or flee, mm -hmm. as some might say. You know, nowadays people will say, oh, well, I have to wear bait in order to look fly. Mm -hmm. I have to wear Supreme to look fly. You can wear a five dollar shirt and thirty dollar jeans and still look fly. Yeah, it's all about putting your clothes together. If you feel you're expressing yourself, if you feel comfortable in your own skin wearing those kind of clothes, yeah, and you like how you look, then. Mm -hmm. you should. And it's yeah. also notice. It also means that you also, tr when it comes to the clothes, um, try to look your best and make sure your clothes last longer mm -hmm. and they're still in good shape and you're not faded out because this is what happens when your clothes get faded out or somewhat in some I ways. I mean, that's, that's, that's most common, especially when you're washing your clothes. Yeah. You know, that's what I'm saying. A lot of parents don't know which, which stores to take their kids mm -hmm. at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and th that's what it is. And look, there goes another verb, but this time the, the owl, oh, the, the, I could hear the owl hooting. <laughs> and so <laughs> he's hooting like this. We'll be right back. <laughs> Come back. I like him way better. I think he's trying to do a commercial. Oh, <laughs>